Yo, 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 what's up ladies and gentlemen, your SoCal Storm Chaser, Double Let Is, back with a brand new Storm Chasing video. Now, man oh man, where do I even start? This trip been exhausting and semi-disappointing because I drove all the way from Camp Verde, all the way down to south of Tucson, passed through Globe, and passed through Payson, which by the way, Payson is beautiful, never been there, but man, like... The line of storms that I was tracking didn't materialize the way that I thought. Initially, I thought these storms were going to race to the valley, to the lower deserts, but those storms collapsed. It didn't happen. So, drove all the way down to Tucson and south of Tucson as well, where a complex of storms were developing, but those storms collapsed as well. And everything was happening in northern Arizona, Flagstaff, the Grand Canyon, Prescott, Wickenburg, they got everything that I wanted. So with no further delay, let's dig in right into today, storm chasing video. But before I do so, make sure you guys sit back, relax, and now let's dig in right to the video. Here's a storm cloud that is going up north of Tucson. This storm cell right here went up, but it's starting to show a lot of signs of bearishness, which is not that great to see. That's the thunder cloud that is located north of Tucson, but the million dollar question, how much life does that storm have left? I'll be honest with you guys right now, I am a little bummed out because this big line of storms that was making a big run towards Globe decided just to skip out on Globe altogether, went south and west of it, and again, this line of storms just collapsed as they were making a run towards the valley, but right now i'm out here north of tucson and i'm also seeing the radar map right now that prescott cottonwood sedona west of flagstaff williams ash fork that entire area right there just been getting slammed by strong to severe storms and yeah i wish i was up there oh that was a nice bolt of lightning over there so hey maybe there is life left down here in southern arizona by tucson so let's see what happens out here but another side note that i will say i need a lawyer because I want to sue this big complex of storms that decided to collapse as they were coming down towards globe and it is reprehensible that is a crime and you have no idea how that made me feel i'm bummed out because of that so that's why i need to sue them here's another angle of that storm cell it's starting to show some signs of bearishness but that does look nice i'm not gonna lie that does look nice i just got to tucson and the sky is looking very bearish for storm activity but if i look up Something you don't see every day is Matmatis clouds. Beautiful Matmatis clouds. Right now, the only hope for any storm development is a group of storms that are fizzling out. There's some bullishness in there, but realistically speaking, not a lot. There's a big lightning storm, I will say at least 50 miles east of Wilcox. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna drive out that far. I don't know. I'm really bummed out about the outcome today, but nevertheless, I explored Payson, a place that I've never been. So at least that, I don't know if you can see some of the lightning that's taking place down there, but yeah, 50 miles east of Wilcox, yeah, that's a little too far right now. The storm that was located east of Benson collapsed and it's done, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna drive out all the way to Wilcox I'm not sure I don't think so I mean the only place that might shoot some lightning is this right here the only hope that I have left today I had the option to stay in Camp Verde Prescott Cottonwood Sedona Flagstaff and I wish I would have gone to Flagstaff instead but thought things were gonna pop out in Globe and south of Tucson but didn't happen everything happened up north today chase wasn't a complete fail but i could have gotten better stuff today if i decided to stay up north by prescott sedona cottonwood camp verde flagstaff because that's the area that's getting good right now storms were lining up perfectly northeast of globe and that storm suddenly collapsed even before it made it to the valley at least today i didn't leave empty-handed got some good stuff got some good shots there's always something to learn from all your failed chases and definitely i'm learning something from 
this chase that wasn't the best got some stuff but i feel like i could have gotten a lot better stuff and i'm looking at the radar map and i'm telling myself wow i should have stayed in northern arizona instead the grand canyon is seeing a beautiful lightning storm right now i wish i was there to capture that as you guys know storm chasing is a big investment but one big advantage that i have right now gas is pretty good out here in tucson at this point this just turned into a random video so i'm out here vlogging in phoenix and I'm about to go get a post-up meal right now at Chipotle Mexican Grill. Something valuable that I learned in this trip, always check the National Weather Service Twitter page, Facebook page, all social media pages for updates. Always check in first before making your move as a storm chaser. Where I messed up today is the fact that I didn't follow the facts in the maps and the weather models that projected that this complex of storms were gonna fizzle out. As I was about to end the video, what just happened what is going on over here so i just saw a flash and i think that was lightning but as that was about to end the video it just started raining and i'm seeing lightning all of a sudden okay ladies and gentlemen so the tables have turned and this happened all of a sudden by surprise there's a storm cell that dropped right to the south of me everything just changed as you guys saw right now we're not leaving empty-handed we're not leaving empty-handed. A surprise thunderstorm that dropped here in Phoenix. It's gonna start coming down torrentially in a few. And we're entering this storm right now. Literally dropped right to the south of me. And it's coming down right now. So this storm's moving pretty quick. Oh, that was a good one. You can see the freeway's turning a little bit. So I'm about to get off this freeway. And just like that, this storm is moving on. They're very progressive, but they're producing a lot of wind. 50 mile per hour winds and a lot of lightning. Got that one. I don't know if you guys can see that thundercloud, but that thundercloud looks so wicked. Look at that beauty right there. That thing looks so wicked. The storm cloud is leaving, but the lightning show is getting started. Look at that. Oh, that was a good one. Let's go. Wow, that, that looks nice. Wow, that was a nice one. Oh, just in time. Nice. That was a good one. And you could clearly see how this storm cell is moving. Frequent lightning out here. Oh my God, that was a good one. And the wind is getting more intense. 50 miles per hour wind gusts been reported with this storm. Oh, that was a good one. Nice. Oh, I'm not done chasing this lightning storm. I'm about to get on the road again. Oh, that was a nice one. I'm about to drive a little west. Oh, wow, that was a good one. Oh, that was a nice one. And I've been recording for quite some time and that's the only one that I've seen. That was a good one and lightning activity started to settle down. So I think this is gonna be the last one that I record from this storm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the video right here because this storm is fizzling out. And this was a surprise storm after a very, very disappointing trip but you know it ended in a surprise so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and i'll see you guys in my next storm chasing video peace